we didn't see LeBron James at 15 years old and maybe just shooting the arc a thousand times. Small rituals, big payouts. We are so conditioned this day and age with Instagram and social media that we see the end game. So we always try to rush to the end game. I love we that. don't understand that it took LeBron 30 years to get where he is today by small ritualistic practices. And he's doing the same thing. He warms up before a game. He shoots before a game. He stretches before a game. Same thing he did as a kid. He's doing now as an adult. He doesn't forget about his rituals. So we have to think about that. Forget the end game on Instagram. Think about the process now. Okay, so right now I'm buying into it. I'm sleeping. I am adopting all of these rituals, and I, now I'm staying consistent. So if I'm home right now or even when the quarantine is over, sure. if I go to the gym three times a week, I work out for 20 minutes, half hour, an hour, you're saying so long as I stay consistent, I'll see the results? Great question. The results happen what you're doing away from your workout. This is so important. Okay, so let's just, let's just for all 10 purposes, let's use an hour so it's easier with the math. Yep. That means you have 23 hours in the day to mess up the results that you put in. So where's the equation? Do you understand the balance now? So you just crushed it hard, chest, everything. You walk around, you're sore, fatigued, uh, uh, uh. If you go to happy hour with your friends, if you stay up late watching Netflix, if you're eating the chips, what you do in the 23 other hours of the day, the workout for the hour can't compete. So you're constantly doing this, okay? So let's start off the day. You get your six to eight hours of sleep. You wake up morning rituals. You do 20 minutes of a hard cardio workout. Then after that, you're implementing more water. This is just saying. Then you're telling yourself throughout your day how great you are and great you are and great you are. You're not going to attract those people who are what I call – weeds in your life you're going to look for tail waggers people who are you know you have a dog you walk down the hall come back two minutes later and it's so happy to see you you're going to attract those people in your life what you say is who you become but it's also who you attract and the muscle here's the biggest thing we train the wrong muscles in our body listen to this john we work so much in our biceps triceps and abs but yet we tell ourselves we're shit or we tell ourselves we're crap how remember what i said from the very beginning Gratitude and anger can't reside. Correct. So you're telling yourself while you're all muscle bound how poor this and this you are, and you're saying, I don't have time or money. That's not the way I was raised. Are you really going to hit your full potential? If you think about the squares, are you really going to, are you going to become the, that, that attorney and say, I told you so? See, your muscle that you need to train more than anything, and your audience needs to hear is, is, is your tongue, is saying proper things to yourself. It's going to take time. It, it, LeBron, Michael, they didn't come that overnight. There is no such thing as an overnight success. It is a process. You have to be dedicated to the process. And that's one thing that people have to understand. It's like the P90X. What do you do after day 91? We don't know. No one's told us yet. And, and that's kind of where I want to go with you, Jay. And, yeah. and, and I'm so sorry for jumping in, but no, we, we, we go on right. a time schedule, and I want to make sure I get as much information in for my audience as humanly possible. Of course. Um, we we talk, you just talked about P90X, right? Yeah. Many people are doing these diets, keto diet, all the rave. Is that sustainable? Everything's sustainable. You just have to do what's right for your body. That's why before you do anything, if you, if you can get a blood test, well, I can't afford that, but can you afford to be sick? You should really understand, you know, what your cortisol levels are, your adrenals. If they're so what we call suppressed, your adrenal glands really, the easiest thing is if you think about fatigue. Let's just say that. If they're so suppressed and beat up, you're going to be, you're going to be lethargic. If, you're, if you don't know if you're hypothyroid when, you're, when your thyroid is not functioning properly and you get your blood results and they do a thyroid panel, the doctor may say, well, you're doing 20 hours of work every week in the gym. You're hypothyroid. So you're constantly fighting against it. There is so much information in blood that it makes my job so much easier and it validates what I tell my athletes, 
or whoever I work with. This is your roadmap. This is this has all the information. Your blood. We can't fight against so, it. Are, are, are there certain tests? Because everybody's not going to be able to afford you. Sure, of course. Uh, yeah, uh, what, what is there? Is it a specific blood test that people should be looking to go and get? Because we all go and we get a, do our annual physical and they get yeah. a blood test. Like, what am I asking for? Well, here's the, here's a question to you. Does everybody do their annual physical? The majority of people don't. Okay, for the people who do, because I asked you a question about yeah. dieting and is it sustainable? Yeah. And you said, look, start with the blood because the blood, yeah. it, it, it reveals so much. So let's just say, you know, just for craps and giggles, everybody's yeah. going to go out and they're going to get their blood tested, yeah. right? Everybody everybody's going to buy into, you, in, into your program and into your wisdom. What am I asking my, do my doctor to test me for? Sure. Both men and women should get, this is the simplest thing, cortisol, which is your bad stress, mm -hmm. your thyroid panel. That's a huge thing. Majority of people don't know if they're hyper, which hyperthyroid is your thyroid. It's, right, it's, 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 right, it's, it's just like your furnace. It's spinning as fast as it can. It's like throwing hot coals in there all day, and you can eat all you want, and you're still, you're still fit. Hypo. Thyroid is your thyroid is not functioning well. It's in what we call a slow or fatigued model. So you can eat a small piece of toast and all of a sudden you feel like you're gaining 20 pounds. Yep. So we really, that's the two big things. And what's going on these days, what I would always tell people is get their gut checked. And people don't what look at What does that mean exactly? Sure. So when you go get analysis for they may do a, a poop test or however they want to do it but that will tell you a lot of information a lot of people have inflammation within the confines of their gut their body's not working well we find so much information in our guts people don't realize 90 percent of the body's serotonin is found in the gut people think it's all in the brain people think that you know when the, when the gut starts to break down and there's Good bacteria doesn't protect the stomach lining of the walls well. You can get what we call leakage or gut leakage. People don't know if they're allergic to certain foods. So it's those sort of indicators that we really should focus on. So it would be gut health, mm -hmm. cortisol levels, and your thyroid. And if I had to add one more, I would try to figure out with your doctor inflammation. See, inflammation. The inflammation? Inflammation. There are in. There are in inflammation factors that you can actually track and one is if you're eating too much sugar you're going to get inflamed if you're eating the wrong foods your body's going to be inflamed it's just like you work out and you feel that pump that's inflammation but if that's happening within the confines you all hear about you know heart attacks and everything we need to focus more on inflammation and eating proper foods that decrease inflammation than as opposed to going after getting our cholesterol and making sure everything in our, in our, our testosterone levels and all that are checked. We, we can focus on inflammation, the thyroid panels, cortisol levels. That's going to make a huge difference in our lives. What's up, guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love.